my God, that's a lot of love. <sighs> but I can take it. <sighs> oh, oh, you've just damn near killed me. Uh, it was, um, oh, I can't get over it. <sighs> it was uh, five years ago on this very stage that my dear and beloved friend Morgan Freeman presented this same honor to me. Imagine. And it was my wish even then, because I love him so, that I could reciprocate. And well, you know what? The stars aligned, and here we are. <laughs> Morgan and I have known each other for 50 years. We first worked together in 1971 on a superb children's show called The Electric Company. <laughs> he played many hilarious characters, but there is one moment that is burned into my memory forever. I was playing a bratty little girl with sausage curls. And he, picture this, you have to really see this, Morgan Freeman, Mr. Elegant, Morgan Freeman, Mr. Debonair, Morgan Freeman playing Dracula <laughs> with fangs coming out of his mouth. And he talked like this. Hello, little girl. I come all the way from Transylvania to scare the daylights out of you. <laughs> this was educational programming at its finest. <laughs> this is a man, my friend, who is still devoted to programs that educate most recently bringing the story of God to worldwide audience of all beliefs. He also continues to change lives through his foundation, which has donated millions to educational and artistic programs, as well as disaster relief at home and around the globe. Morgan is way more than just an actor, narrator, producer, humanitarian. This man is a national treasure. Morgan likes to say, Morgan likes to say that if you become a star, people are going to see, going to go to see you. And if you remain an actor, you're going to go and see the story you're in. Here is a look at some of the many reasons why we love to watch him bring those stories to life. 